Hi everyone, my name is John Bacon and I'm the Senior Director of Community at the XPRIZE Foundation and I'm delighted to be joined by a gentleman with a quite impressive roster of career achievements. Seth Green, thank you for joining me. Uh, thanks for having me. You started out primarily acting, right? I'd always pursued acting and had, had the most success with it and that's really what I feel like I do. That's, that's my first love. Right. Um, but all the other aspects of, of filmmaking or, or content creating, that's all skill sets I've had to acquire over time. I started being really attracted to being able to produce the end result, um, collecting a team together, finding a piece of material that we all wanted to get behind, and then putting all the right elements in place to deliver this end result. That's what made me start producing. Right, but how do you make the determining factor between a big idea being a good and producible idea? Well, some of that's just gut, you know? Some of that is, you don't know, you never know. You just take a risk if you think that risk is worth it. How has education played a role in your life? How did it help you to, to kind of pr provide those guardrails for moving forward and, and being successful? I like to consume information. I love learning new things. Education is the most critically important thing that we can offer to our future generations. Right. How do you feel that is empowering this world where we can solve some of these bigger problems as well. You know, now that people can video chat with each other, yeah. now that people can, can scan a data output and then 3D print something in another country, like we're, we're at a whole different level of communication. Yeah. What is it about kind of innovation and about us solving these, these problems, whether it's space or whether it's learning, like what is it that gets you excited about that when you think about it? You know, I really like history um, and I really like forensic study of the planet and I just believe in us, you know? I believe in us as a species and I like everything that we've accomplished so far and I think we're destined for much bigger things. This rather neatly leads on to, to talking about XPRIZE. Obviously Peter Diamandis, what is it about his vision that really kind of gets you aligned with it? So I read an article about him and the XPRIZE and the guy that was starting an organization that was going to crowdsource innovation. Right. I think that's the best act, that's the best use of the internet is connecting people around a common goal because okay. man when we work together there's nothing we can't solve so that's what gets me excited is, is the fact that we're capable and it really takes somebody pushing before anybody else will will go. And uh, you know it's moving on to this, this, this global learning X prize I mean this is to build a piece of open source technology that will teach kids to do basic reading, writing, and arithmetic within yeah. 18 months without the aid of a teacher. Let's be honest, the public school system is so woefully crippled and underfunded. Aside from running for office and trying to buck that system, the very simple thing we can do in the short term is widen our reach of educational opportunities to all kids. What do you feel like is going to be like the impact of that? Like what, what? How can you calculate? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you just never know. You hope for something positive. You hope for people to really take advantage of that kind of system and, and use it to educate themselves. People always begrudge when something doesn't exist. They're like, well, you know, no one's ever done that before. But as soon as you set the precedent, as soon as you, right. you know, tip that first domino, then it becomes very easy for people to add to it. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time and thank you for, uh, oh, for supporting Next I love the organization. I'm actually really excited to, to get to talk about it. Sounds great. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, man.